Hello, I hope you're having a good day. A short video about IK multimedia sample tank in, in Reaper particularly and how to use the multi-timbral mode of it so you don't have to open up several instances in, in Reaper and you save some resources. So let's go. Okay, so I have now Reaper open and I will insert a virtual instrument on new track. Here we go. And at this point, do not click on yes. I happen to have a Spanish version, so it will be asking me something else. But click no. If you click yes at this point, it will create the 16 tracks, but you get into problems and you have to start routing the tracks and it gets more messy. So let's close this one for a moment. So you have now the instrument itself here. And from here, ops, options, build 16 channels of MIDI routing to this track. Click on this thing. And now you see it has created 16 tracks. I'll just remove at this point some of them because we don't need them here. So I will delete some of them. And now you go back to the instrument, click the effects button. And from here, you add something to MIDI track 1. So it could be like this one. So you can see that there's something happening. This arm or unarm this one and arm the MIDI track 1. So you see now that it is sending it to the MIDI track to sample tank 4. Now if you record on this MIDI track 1, it will record whatever you have played. So the information is on MIDI track 1 and it will send it to sample tank. Now go back to FX. And choose MIDI track 2. Let's try something else now. Have a look what is there. Okay. So the same way if you record now on this track. And let's do third one as well. But it's basically you can do this all 16 tracks. Oops. Go to the sample tank. Add something on the MIDI track. Three. Let's try something different. So here we have Grand Piano 
and we arm the correct track. Record. Let's not make it more difficult than it has to be because this is just an example how you do this one because now the point of all this is that you have one instance of sample tank 4 but you still have all these tracks to be able to, <coughs> to use and you can control them from here, the balance stuff. You don't have to go to separate mixers if you don't want to, of course you can. But it saves resources because the other option is that you insert on every new track a new virtual instrument. And you may have like eight instruments and of course it will take more resources. So this is easier way and easier to maintain and therefore it's it's recommendable to use this one instead of installing so many or inserting so many uh, virtual instruments. This works with all the other type of instruments as well, soft synths like uh, contacts, players and these kind of things which uh, I think contact player is as a free version as well so if you want to fiddle with these things and then decide if you want to buy them or or if it's enough for you this is a this is a good way to do it and you can practice whatever you want to and hopefully get the results that you are wishing for or aiming for Wow, that was beautiful. Anyway, I hope this helps you and just if you don't have the sample tank CS for example, you can go to multimedia site and download it from there. Native instruments, contact player and there are so many other these type of instruments which have a basic version as well that you can play with. So if you are just usually playing only guitar at some point, you are want to add and learn a little bit of piano or keyboards. And this is a good way to start. So just go for it and have a good time. Thank you for watching.